We're looking at no sparkly dresses please. It's the harp one part and we're looking at bars 9 to 16. In bar 9 and 10 the only note that you're going to need to play is this one here and it's so it's a B flat because I've got all my levers down and the, you're going to play that four times and it lasts for a minimum each time so it's going to feel quite slow actually after what's come previously because before if you remember you've got lots of quavers lots and lots of quavers and then suddenly to shift to a minimum it's, it's going to feel quite slow so just make sure that you don't rush these minims it's going to be really important to count them um the very first b flat um, on the music it's got to use your thumb and the reason for that is that i was thinking you might link it in to what had gone previously so in bar eight we were doing this kind of idea that kind of thing and the beginning of bar nine i was thinking well you just link onto the end of it so i'll play you bar eight and then into bar nine so one and two and three and four and one so that there with the thumb that's the start of bar nine okay um if you wanted to you could just use a second finger if you wanted to but i think it's going to be easier to use the thumb and link it on to the end of bar eight so you've got these four b flats first one with the thumb and then the others with the second finger um, and they're all minims and then after that you've got this root position shape down here in the left hand uh, with third finger on E flat miss a string second finger on G miss a string and thumb on B flat and at that point you've got crotchet crotchet minim or blue blue to root so what I'm going to do is I'm going to count a bar in and then I'm going to play bar nine bar 10 and bar 11. So you can imagine that I've linked it on. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Okay, so you could always um, wind that back and play along with it if you wanted to. So the next little bit, um, it's right hand and you've got three in a row, third finger on A flat, second finger on B flat and thumb on C. So this isn't middle C, this is the, the C above middle C. And here again we've got crotchet, crotchet and minim. So if I do it with the bar before, really ringy like that you might want to, to damp it okay um, and then the last bar of this third line um, it's another root position shape um, going down the way with that same rhythm again okay so if I play you the whole of line three and it's going to sound like this I'll give you the bar in one and two and three and four and 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 great now the thing to watch out with that line is to remember that the harp two part is going to be playing loads of quavers and crotchets at that point where you've mainly got crotchets and minims so don't hear what the other part is doing and think oh I've got to speed up I've got to speed up because you don't have to speed up and um, you're you know working um, at a, you, well you link in together so that it works but your part is going to feel slower yeah okay so bar 14 we have two minim B flats yeah and um, then bar 15 you've got this again okay so if I do you um, bar 14 and 15 with the counting it's going to go one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and okay 
then at bar 16, um, you're going to have some chords. So the right hand is on A flat, and it's a string, and then thumb on C, and you're going to go blue, blue, two, or crotchet, crotchet, and then a minimum going up the way. So moving step by step. Okay, so if I play you um, from bar nine through to the end of bar 16 with counting, I shall have to breathe at some point. Um, and then, you know, you, you could have a go at joining in. One and two and three and four and 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 there you go nearly ran out of breath <laughs> um so that is bar nine through to bar 16.